Hey, what's going on out there? Today's value nugget. It's an exciting one to talk about and just remind each other about is, is the importance of just staying active, right? Keeping things in motion, not being lazy, not looking to the past achievements and accomplishments and resting on those laurels. Because I believe as we grow as leaders, we realize more and more that it's not about ourselves, it's about others, right? It's not about our past achievements, what we're doing. It's the question is, you know, how can I serve others in greater ways? Even if, you know, the ultimate purpose of, you know, personal, professional development, you know, striving to get better in certain areas of our life, the ultimate purpose of that is not for us, self-gratification, self-achievement. The ultimate purpose of that is how do I serve those I love? In, in greater ways? How do I improve the relationships you know, with those that I have in greater How do I serve those that I interact with on a daily basis in the workplace in greater ways? In my case, U.S. Marines. That's what leadership's all about. That's the purpose of staying active, right? So a good question you know, to ask ourselves then is, what are we fighting for? What, what are we dedicating our energy and our focus towards right now in our lives? What are we fighting for? Because I believe, you know, what we fight for, we get. What we fight for, we get, you know? And there's a lot to unpack there, right? We, when you, what you fight for, right? It doesn't matter how many times you get smacked in the face, you know, you fail and you learn and you grow, right? If you're fighting for something and you keep fighting, you're gonna, you're gonna get it. So what are we fighting for? What are we spending our time being active on in our lives? You know, I believe Tony Robbins, he's interviewed you know, so many, entrepreneurs, politicians over the decades, and, and what he's come to conclude is extraordinary, those that have achieved extraordinary things, serve in extraordinary ways, and live extraordinary lives have this common denominator. They all have this insatiable hunger, right? So, you know, that's a good question to pose ourselves. Are we insatiably hungry? What are we insatiably hungry about? Are we at all? You know, and if we're not, you know, how do we get there? You know, what, do we need to be more active in certain areas? Do we, maybe we're not even active, period. I don't know. You know it's, this is a good self-reflection, self-assessment, good questions to ask. You know, now, if there was a draft pick, I would say, you know, give, me someone, give me someone that's insatiably hungry, right? Give me someone that's passionate. If there was a draft pick, that's who I'd pick, right? About damn near anything. Even if I don't agree with it, it'd be, it would may be harder to win over their point of view. But give me someone that's passionate, right? That's who I want to be as a leader. Because the reality is, those type of people find ways to separate themselves from you know what we call in the military GP general population those are the folks that that kind of break away from the pack and all there's all kinds of things tied to that right criticism hatred right but that's that's what we should be aiming for as leaders right are we insatiably hungry and if not how do we get there now if you find yourself in a situation where hey you know what you're not active at all and I think in some sense you know we all are in certain areas of our life you know, I, I would submit to you, just pick a direction and just go. If you don't know what to do, just, just pick something and just go for it. Because, you know, the chan nine, 10 times out of 10, you're going to learn something from it. But someone asks, well, well, what if it's the wrong direction? Oh, well, you'll find out sooner, right? You'll adjust and, and then you'll learn something from it. You'll gain and, you know, have a little bit more experience and have some insight to gain from that experience. Um, now, the other side of that coin, right, is the law of use. The law of use, you know, in terms of staying active says that, you know, uh, for example, if, if you don't pray and practice your faith, does your faith increase or decrease, right? It decreases. If you don't go to the gym and exercise your muscles physically, does your strength increase or decrease? It decreases, right? So the premise of the, of the, the message today is stay active, right? Keep things moving, keep things in motion, keep fighting, because what we fight for, we get. All right, great talking to you guys today. All right, later.